Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Brian Kirk. I'm a fourth year medical student here at the University of Utah. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm here to talk about a study that I've been helping with recently here at the Moran um, with uh, Dr. Craig Chaya, Derek Zakata, Bob Langston, many others, and several of whom are in this room were participating in this study. So there's a question as to the patient experience with sequential cataract surgery. And specifically, the question we looked at is the pain comparison between the first eye and the second eye. And there's a lot of anecdotal stories and several studies, which I kind of selected a few to put up here, that suggest that patient actually experiences more pain with the second eye surgery as compared to the first eye surgery. Um, and as you can see, this, they, the percentage ranges that were from 40 to almost 50%, although not all studies agree with that, as some studies have found no difference in the pain score. And if you think about it, why is this important beyond just wanting to do the best for our patient and decrease their pain during cataract surgery? And one of the important things, especially for topical or cataract surgery done purely under topical anesthetic, is patient cooperation during the surgery. As you can see by this study, and it's intuitive, that if a patient has more pain during the surgery, they're going to be less cooperative with the surgery, which is important for surger, surgical outcomes. As well as pain and anxiety are important determinants for patient satisfaction scores, which have been more important in medicine recently. As to the theories of why someone may feel more in pain or discomfort during their second surgery, there's several of them out there. Some of them are listed here. One of the leading ones is that someone just has more, has more awareness, increased awareness. They've already been through the process once. They're able to notice different things they didn't notice the first time, and that makes them remember the experience more. And, therefore um, remember more pain. Another reason could be <clears throat> that just memory distortion. As time passes, we kind of forget the bad experiences we might have had a little bit further in the past, and the second surgery being the most recent may be easier for them to remember the pain. Uh, there's also theories in, in terms of increased tolerances to the anesthetic that they're given, as well as others, but those are some of the main ones. So the study design that we for our study here is a prospective observational study, and the unique aspect of our study was trying to combine the subjective questionnaire information and patient feedback data with an objective intraoperative data. And so to, to the objective intraoperative data, which was, I mentioned, the unique part of the study, was gathered using this device here, a picture of a, a handheld device. This was designed by Dr. Derek Zakata and Shad Roundy from the Mechanical Engineering Department on Lower Campus. And as you can see, this is a device de designed to be held in the patient's hand. Um, and it records several parameters. So you can see there's a button on top, and this is for patients to press if they have any discomfort as the procedure is ongoing. It also records squeezing, like a grip force. Um, and it has acceleration sensors to detect any movement. There's also sensors that can, can, that can detect skin conductance, which can detect sweating, which is a physiological response to stress. This device is paired wirelessly through Bluetooth to a tablet that can record and store the information. And, okay, so that's about the device. So back to the study. The study subjects were recruited from the patients of these cataract surgeons here at the Moran Eye Center. Um, these people were identified as being scheduled for bilateral sequential cataract extraction. They were contacted with the letter and then pre-consented prior to surgery with, uh, via phone call, met on the day of surgery, and consented prior to their operation. It's to be included in the studies, the patient need to be more than 18 years old, be scheduled for sequential cataract surgery, and be receiving only topical anesthesia. Some of the exclusion criteria was a resident surgery for either the first or the second eye, and this was done mainly to decrease the variation in surgeon experience um, for the patient. If there's any complications, or also as we defined, surgery lasting greater than 30 minutes for either the first or second eye, that was, they were also excluded. Surgery happening more than six months after, their second eye surgery happening more than six months after their first eye surgery or any pre-existing conditions that could confound the analysis of pain, like any um, inflammatory conditions, uncontrolled glaucoma, et cetera. All right, so the study is set up to examine the patient experience in three stages, the preoperative, intraoperative, and postoperative stage. So in the preoperative stage, once a patient was um, on their day of surgery, but prior to being operated on, we assess both their anxiety and pain anticipation for the surgery. And this was done using a questionnaire. The anxiety was assessed using a simplified six question state trait anxiety index. And the pain anticipation was done using a visual analog scale. So basically a 10 centimeter line 
asking patients how much pain they expected to experience during their surgery. They'd make a mark somewhere along that line with the left side being no pain and the right side being extreme pain. This is prior to surgery. So intraoperatively, the data was gathered by the handheld device that we discussed earlier, as well as a research assistant would go back with the patient to the operating room to record that device data and also make time notes on the time during the different steps of the cataract surgeries, hopefully in the end correlate maybe increased button clicking or pain or movement with specific steps during cataract surgery. Postoperatively, a very similar survey to the preoperative survey was given, again, to assess the anxiety and pain recall through the same tools. And this was done for both the first eye and the second eye surgery, with the only real difference with the second eye surgery, immediately after their surgery was done, they were asked to, to think back to their first surgery and compare the pain they had just recently experienced with the pain they experienced or they remembered experiencing with their first surgery. And the final step of the study is a one-month postoperative follow-up questionnaire. And this questionnaire kind of assessed a broad experience perception of their surgery, you know, experience with cataract surgery, as well as had a similar question as that they were asked immediately postoperatively after their second surgery, asking them to think back and compare their pain from the first surgery and the second surgery. And this was done to kind of maybe eliminate that recency bias with the second surgery and the question being asked right afterwards. So as far as results, today we're actually still in the process of gathering some data. There's several patients, roughly 10 patients, who will soon get their follow-up questionnaire. And the device data, we have a wonderful statistician, Molly McFadden, who's still kind of crunching the data on that. It generates an enormous amount of data, hundreds of data points every second for all the surgeries. So she's trying to be able to present that in a meaningful and useful way. But we do have a, most of the survey results today. So kind of a broad perspective. We enrolled 101 patients, and unfortunately 23 patients were excluded with the most common reason being resident um, surgery. Other reasons would be surgical complications, surgery, as it was mentioned before, surgery going or occurring more than six months after their first eye, et cetera. But 78 patients were included in this analysis. So here are the results or the averages of patients' anxiety scores for their first surgery. And this was done, as I mentioned, with that anxiety index, and the max score is 24. So the higher the score, the more anxiety someone feels. So as would be expected, someone, the people going through the first surgery, they have a decrease in anxiety after their surgery when compared to the beginning. So looking at the anxiety scores from the second surgery, again, you see the same thing where they start off a little more anxious than they end up after the surgery. And an interesting thing to note here is that both the post-surgery, pre-surgery and post-surgery anxiety scores were decreased for the, were significantly decreased for the second surgery, which lends credence to the theory that people are maybe a little less anxious for their second surgery and therefore more aware of what's going on and able to better remember their experience. Now looking at the pain assessment scores for the sur first surgery, we can see again there's a decrease. Well, they seem to overestimate their pain. That, that top number, the pre-surgery, is what they anticipated feeling on a scale of 1 to 10. And that post-surgery is what they reported experiencing. The average difference going down about 1.3 on that scale. Now looking at the second surgery pain scales. Um, so pre-surgery, it appears they slightly underestimated their pain. Um, but unfortunately, that difference between the pre-surgery and post-surgery is not statistically significant. Uh, but there, you do see that they're, when comparing the first eye with the second eye, patients pre-surgery um, have a statistically significant lower anticipated pain prior to their second surgery. And, and post-surgical evaluation of pain, again, is slightly higher for the second eye surgery, but again, that was not shown to be significant. So as was mentioned, immediately after their second eye surgery, they were asked to think back and compare their pain with the first surgery versus the second surgery. And you can see that the majority of people reported feeling the exact same or roughly the same amount of pain for both surgeries. But among the people that reported a difference in pain, the majority of them reported that more pain occurring in the second eye. And this trend held true for the one month follow-up survey. Again, we're still collecting this data. But again, the majority of people reported the same pain. Among those who reported different pains, the second eye was more painful. So just in conclusion, for what we've learned so far, is that anxiety has decreased overall, both pre and post-surgery, from the first surgery to the second surgery. 
Um, the, also, the anticipated pain prior to the first surgery compared to the second surgery was also decreased. Um, there was no difference in immediate post-operative post-op scoring for the two surgeries, and the subjective comparison of pain um, in the follow-up and immediately post-operatively among those who thought the pain was different, the second eye seemed to be more painful. So there's still quite a bit more to do. We, of course, we have all the device data, which is probably the most interesting aspect of this study, um, which we hope to be able to share soon. And um, we have the follow-up surveys that we're still collecting, and we're also hoping to include some measure of the anesthetic that the patients received and correlating that to their pain and anxiety scores as well. All right. I just want to thank Dr. Chaya, Dr. Sakata, Bob, all the surgeons and OR staff too. Uh, let us do this study, and thank you. If there's any questions, I'll take them.